Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Undaunt's Breakfast with Kutaloops. In our last episode, we discovered that the Witch of the Woods uh, was indeed Freya, one of the uh, gods of old, or Atreus. the Varnir gods, me. I guess. Sorry, I got distracted. And now we're going to go find uh, Jormungandr to talk to him and ask him about the uh, entrance to Jotunheim, I think. Um, I believe he is one of the last living giants in Midgard. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go talk to him. I guess? I actually don't really remember if we're just supposed to do anything else here or just bugger off. I'm thinking we're just probably gonna bugger off. So if I missed anything, I apologize. I, uh, Probably should have re-watched uh, um, my last episode so that I kind of remembered where I was. But, doesn't matter. Um, I'm hoping that we can unlock these uh, gates for fast travel use in the future. Um, because right now, all we can do is go to just Brock's uh, thing, which doesn't so seem right. Why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye, Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Namir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. Oh yeah. Um. So Freya took the uh, um, the. What are you uh? What are you pointing at there, buddy? You were uh, pointing at something. But um, what was it? So when we got back to the to Freya, she actually took um. Uh, Atreus's mistletoe arrows and just burn them. I think it's because now I could be wrong, but I thought Freya and Balder were somehow related. But anyways, I think it's because um, she knows that the mistletoe yeah, arrows. The Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. I, I think it's because she knows that the um, uh, what you call it. The mistletoe arrows are the only thing that can hurt Balder, so maybe that's why. Maybe she doesn't want uh, Treus to. Um... You never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. And it all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir have proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? <clears throat> Precisely. Enough was enough, and at last Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy. A certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people, a selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got, but of course there's more to that story. Right, I see. So, uh, Mimir... I'm assuming the um, wise advisor that he's referring to is actually himself. So I'm assuming Mimir um, told Od Od advised Odin to marry Freya, and she did. I thought Freya was supposed to be the goddess of war and love, um, but anyways. Um, so I guess uh, they got hitched. Um, so that wait, Freya isn't Baldur's mother, is she? Did... No, Odin mar... I thought Odin had another wife. I could be wrong, or maybe, I mean... Obviously, they could have taken some artistic licenses with the, um... 
ancient uh, mythologies as they have with the Greek mythologies. But still, I don't recall um, in uh, Nordic mythology about uh, anything about Odin and Freya getting married, but then again, I guess my knowledge of it is a little rusty. Anyways, we are back at the bridge, hey, and... How do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Yeah, not before I destroy some of these uh, fucking uh, seagulls, though. Because as we all know, seagulls are the worst. Wait, this is a horn? No, this is... It's a busted piece of, piece of machinery that I can't fix. Oh, also, we can now go to uh, Muspelheim, so maybe we should give that a go. Oh, I have to do it from one... Oh my god. I have to do it from one side? Oh jeez, this whole time. <laughs> Fucking seagulls. I blame it all on the seagulls. You heard me, bitch. Fantastic. Alright, Mimir. Do your thing, buddy. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world suffering absolutely abhors the fat dauber. He was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. Alright, wish me luck. Remembers me. Why are you? Oh no, that's not right. Eh. Uh, Mokuno Huntunkun. Aho. Eh. Echo no Tunno Funora. the pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're headed in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. Oh we'll shit, I can move. For a moment, now that. I thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. That was so fucking cool. Holy shit. <laughs> I gotta say, it's absolutely incredible that they actually managed to um, animate uh, Jotunheim in a way that actually conveys emotion. I think it's um, one of the more difficult things to do in uh, video games and movies and whatnot is to like have 
reptiles somehow animate um, well enough to convey emotion because uh, all their hard plates and scales and whatnot, it's kind of difficult to achieve that. But I don't know. I definitely saw some, uh, like when he was talking about um, how he feels the pain of your loss and all that stuff. I definitely saw that in uh, Jormungandr. So, seriously, amazing game. Amazingly well made. Holy crap. Anyways, uh, let's go do some more exploring. So we, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Oh, right, okay. Um... Well, yeah, we'll look for that special... Oh, I see. The boat's, uh, sunken even farther. Well, before we... Whoa, hello. No earthly key nor physical force can get past the magic of that lock. Don't even look at it. Why? Does it go up to 11? Am I not supposed to look at it because it goes up to 11? Should I not even think about it? I wonder if this guy gets seasick. Um, or just, you know, gets motion sickness because holy crap, he's just bouncing on my ass. Like that before. Reminds me of something I've seen Tear sketch. He liked to combine various symbols into runes all his own. This one, I believe, means... Peace, unity, mercy, other things too. I see what he did, but how do we get inside? We have other concerns. You have other concerns, Kratos. I'm still looking for that last toy, alright? Fucking bastard. Anyways, holy crap, if I were Mimir, I'd be just vomiting all over the place. And I'm also kind of glad that the, um... The uh, texture there did actually pop in. Well, not pop in, but appeared. I kind of worried that maybe, uh... The texture wasn't there, it wasn't like fully, um, realized, as it were, if that makes any sense. Like, it just kind of looked like it's a lower, uh, resolution, is what I'm trying to say here, but... No, it was just, uh, I was moving too fast for the game to, uh, uh, for the world to catch up to me and all that stuff. Anyways, just doing a little, um, lap around the area, uh, making sure that we aren't missing anything. Just doing a lap, and I see something over there, appears to be some brambles and shit. So, I'm thinking maybe we don't tussle with this yet? No. If only Mermir would tell me how to uh, tussle with it and get rid of them. It would unlock a whole avenue of different stuff, but anyways. Is Jormungandr just like... Slowly inching away from us? Like... He, every time we t interact with him, he appears to just... Kind of like... Um, edge out of the water a little bit. This isn't the same one, is it? We'll need something to get through this one. Right, okay. It might actually be the same one. Alright. Well, we're gonna do some exploring. Boat under the bridge, keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna do that, bud. We're actually gonna go do some exploring right about now. Funk's old brother. Um, oh. Right, let's do a little bit of this. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. Oh, I'll oops. Later, lad. Shit. Sorry, I didn't realize that uh, you were about to start a story. My bad. Care to continue, guys? I promise I'll stay on the boat until we uh, finish this little story. Um, actually, that's a lie. Let's do some exploring. <laughs> Let's explore the Forgotten Caves first, and then we'll, uh, talk about the marriage between Odin and Freya. Don't worry, don't worry, we'll get back to it. Whoa. Oh, I see. Eric. Who? Are, are you okay? No, son. My goods are underwater. My men are drowned, and yet their bodies continue to walk the beaches. Hellwalkers. They plagued these lands. I was their captain. They died because of me. But these abominations sully their memories. I will find a way to free them from their tortured state. In this, I am determined. Um, I don't know about you, but... The storm scattered all three of my ships across the lake. I know not what I did to anger Thor, but his judgment was swift and brutal. 
He was probably a prick. That seems to be where uh, the God of War games always seem to lead, is that the gods are fucking pricks, and you should never listen to them. Hey, doggies. Oops. Uh-oh, got a big one. Crap all over it. I don't really want to deal with a big dog. Or any of these dogs, actually. Look, I know they're wolves. I'm just calling them doggies. Fantastic. Doing pretty well so far. He's getting closer, though. Oh, jeez, Louise. Alright. That's how we're gonna play this? Nope. <laughs> Fantastic. Nice. Hey. I'm getting better at this. Yeah, so am I. I don't know if you noticed this, Atreus. Opportunities for hunting and trade in these lands. I uh, felt blessed to lead such a loyal crew. We've become um, a family over the years. Uh. And now, my family is cursed. Oh. Oh, 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 okay, I'm, I'm just, just gonna go, um, look for these, uh, family members of yours and, uh, annihilate them, and I guess we should activate this, well, I, wait, no, we don't actually need to activate these, do we? We just need to, uh, walk close to them, yeah, never mind, I'm really hoping we can use them to, uh, fast travel around later, because right now it's just a one-way, uh, ticket to, a uh, Brock. Which I guess isn't a bad thing, but Look did my here. health just refill? Yes, hey, bud, uh, found another treasure map for you. Read it. Treasure map. All right. Damn right. What'd you get? Finder's fee. I've been working for Hrails Hrezla Farmather for or a long time, but the pay is always short. With the camp split between. A split between Vandrid and his old man. No one will notice me stashing a bit of the earnings on the side. My secret perch is the perfect hiding spot. Um, I think I might know where this is. Uh, I can see some gears and whatnot in the distance. I have a general sense of where this could be. Um, it might be one of the shipwrecks that we found uh, a few episodes ago. In the uh, Lake of the Nine or whatever, but I could be wrong. But anyways. Hello. Bucket. Take your earnings later. Ah, you as well, my friend. Actually, let's do a que clean sweep of the uh, rooftop. Sorry, the uh, ceiling, rather. Nothing. Not this time, at least. Alright, so we can do some more climbing up that way. Uh, there's a skull over here that we will, um, apparently not destroy. Why am I hearing roaring and some kind of commotion in the background? What is happening? Good grief. That's not Jormungandr. Jormungandr is actually pretty quiet. I mean, he's got a deep, booming voice, but, uh, you know, beyond that, he's quite quiet. So this will lead down there. Uh, have we been there? I feel like... No, yeah, we've definitely been here before. What the hell? Okay, so this leads up here. Right. I see. I guess we've never come this way before? Or no, I think it was actually filled with water before? Hmm. Alright, fine. Uh, I guess then there's not much we can really do in this place then. Unless I missed something, which I don't think I have. Ah, I did miss something. Oops. Alright, let me go just go pick that up. Don't judge me, boy. Alright, everyone makes mistakes. I didn't see this thing, alright? But I see it now, and I have it now. And I don't think I can go anywhere else. Nope. Not up here. Seriously, who is roaring and roaring? As in, like, wind roaring. As in, making ar- I heard- I just heard- I heard something. I heard Odin's, uh, raven.
I thought I heard Odin's Raven. Seriously? Is Odin's Raven not around or... I thought I heard a... Cow. You know that magical uh, noise that um, magical ravens make? You know they're famous for it? Maybe over this way? Oh look! There's another of uh, Yggdrasil's um, testicle. Let's go pick that up. But first... I guess we missed this hack silver. Whoa, okay, good. Oh, jeez, I thought that was the, uh, an enemy. Until they are put to rest. Shut the fuck up, dude. Just shut up. And that leads down here. Right, so it's not really all that useful. All right, fine. Wasted my time. What a sad story. Yes. We should help him. Really? You are surprised. Well, yeah. I didn't think you'd care about helping a spirit. Fighting more Hellwalkers is good experience for you. Oh. Um. Yeah, Kratos, I gotta say, I am genuinely surprised that you said that. Alright, well, let's go uh, pick Yggdrasil's testicle. Go get it, boy. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Fjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Weird. Once Fjorgun was gone, lonely ages passed for Odin. And as war with the Vanir raged, I could see what he really wanted because of his bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, they are agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted us so many wishes, I could scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. He won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, Despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. He was on drugs. Yes, is that what we're uh, trying to get at? That he was abusing drugs? That's it, right? Experimentation? Always leads to drug use, no? And I guess we can't go through this area just yet. Alright, fine. At least we've unlocked a um, a world travel thing here. So we got that going for us. Alright, well, uh, there is, I believe, another place where we can dock uh, before we got here. That appeared to lead to like a side area, maybe? Next to the uh, Yggdrasil's testicle, or maybe slightly before, or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I think there's another spot that we can dock. Kind of hoping that we get into another Royal Rumble before the end of the episode here. And for a second, I thought that glowing was Odin's raven. What'd you just say? Kid, I didn't hear you. I'm not, like, trying to antagonize you or try to pick a fight with you. Although, I mean, if you want to fight me... And I'm all down, you know. I'm up I'm up for it is what I'm trying to say. But anyways, um, what'd you just say? You say that we can dock here or you say you're gonna eat Mimir. Cause I fucking see you. I knew it! I knew there was Odin's Raven over there. I just knew it, guys. It's dead. Oh, this is the back of the gate of one of the places, I think, right? All right, well, let's get our uh, just desserts. Thank you. Does this open up into... Oh, it does. Where is this? What the hell is this? Okay, this is another one of those... Uh... Okay, Royal Rumble time, guys. Oh, jeez. Okay. A what? Oh, my God. It's a fucking... Jeez. No way we can fight that thing. I'm coming to you. There really needs to be a preview on what the hell you're about to unleash here. 
That thing looks badass, though, I gotta say. A war... Uh, what? What'd they call it? I don't even know. I am kind of sad that I died in this episode now, though. Um, so there's that, but... Uh, still. It's cool to experience that. Oh. Um... Hello. Oh, jeez. Uh... Does this guy have his back to me? Whoa! Oh shit, he's a Dark Souls player! Oh man! Good grief! Sir, Dark Souls is that way. They recently released a remastered version of it. Which is not getting very good reviews because uh, people are very unhappy that, you know, they've just basically done a re-release. But anyways... No! Oh, good grief. Like a true Dark Souls player just fucking ganked me out of nowhere. Alright, let me try this again with some full health. A traveler's shield is impenetrable. Attack them from the front. Can I do like a shield bash on him? That's actually what I was trying to do. I'm trying to like shield bash the uh, motherfucker, but um, failed miserably. Alright. Take two. Right, you rat bastard. He didn't care about that. Okay. Alright. Nope. Nope. Okay, uh, it turns out that shield bashing him does not, in fact, work. Okay, nope. Got hit on the uh, last fucking. Str oh no! No, I didn't. Damn it! Not what I asked you to do, little shit. Fuck. All right, let's back out of this. Good grief. <sighs> there is other parts, or there are other parts of the uh, uh, lake here that we can explore, so we'll do that for sure. Kind of wish that we can just jump down, you know, really quickly, rather than do all this. I do, I do kind of miss the um, old uh, climbing mechanics from uh, the other God of Wars. Because then you can just, you know, basically fast travel up... Uh, up those uh, vines and whatnot. Anyways, let's get back to it. Let's do some more exploring. We are not quite uh, equipped to be able to take that thing on. Because not only is it a purple level thing, it uh, it is level five, which is kind of more than I can handle currently. Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last. But how did Thrand up ahead in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than this. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. But still, he robbed her of a warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. In a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. I lied. So would I. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Um, so that appears to be something that we can break. Some dead ass bodies that we can run over. And I don't think we can actually dock on this side. So I'm assuming the uh, dockable spot is right over here. There we go. There's some uh, health crystal here, which is a little concerning. Because if there's health crystal, then there's going to be a royal rumble. 
What exactly does that accomplish? I don't know. Oh, good grief. Ready yourself, boy. Fuck me. Oh, man. Okay. Um, it's a poison troll or something? Uh, you know what? Beat his ass into submission. That's what we're gonna do today. Uh, okay. Well, it turns out the ass beating of a lifetime was not to be. Uh, can we not have you guys fucking try to annihilate me with your magics and shit, please? Nope, I'm dead. Yeah, I don't think I can uh, fight these guys. They're all level 5 and I'm still a measly level 3. They're all purple stuff, too. Did a sack just land in my sack? Unbelievable. Alright, well, uh, I think we should probably end the episode off here for now. Um, unfortunately, we didn't ma make much progress, but uh, hoping that we can fix that uh, in tomorrow's episode. Uh, we'll do some more exploring around here. And um, probably... Maybe you would advance the story a little bit. Possibly. No guarantees. But yeah, I really wish that there was a way to, for me to uh, see what level places are. You know? Before I get my fucking ass handed to me and all that crap. Because it's one thing for me to just play this uh, on my own time and then just fuck around and whatever. Waste my time. But to, uh, you know, waste your guys' time with a shitty episode is just... Ugh can't stand it but yeah um, we'll continue on with the exploring in the next episode and all that stuff apparently we are doing some exploring as we speak yeah that's I don't think we have a key for that either but anyways we'll unlock the um, thing here and then we'll call it a day all right there we go yeah I know that thanks all right so uh, we'll uh, continue this tomorrow so for now thanks for watching and have a good breakfast